a time, there was a cruel land twisted by ages of terror and trouble. A world once bright and beautiful grew to be dangerous. Every generation, the ancestors would send out a warrior to venture into this cruel land and build on their legacy. So, piece by piece, young warriors would leave and return with something to contribute to their people. Just there, a young black woman emerged with a mission to bring magic back to the Garden of Sisterhood. Armed with the love of her people, Asada moved cautiously into the jungle. The toxic jungle closed in around her, but Asada knew the only way to the garden was forward. Asada squeezed through the treacherous thorns. A pointy spike caught her leg, and she stumbled into a meadow. Halt! I'm Fox, keeper of crossroads. There are two paths. Only one leads to the garden you seek. The first is dark and dangerous. The second, much easier. You must choose and earn your fate. The path of ease is the path of sleep and death. Choose, Asada. It's now or never. But as she walked, Asada fell under the spell of a delicious smell and strayed from her path. As she got closer, a thistle handed her a strange fruit. Don't eat that! Beneath the sweet smells hide poisonous spells. The ancestors sent me from the garden to guide you, but I cannot walk your path for you. Long ago, one of our own faced the same challenge, but fell and lost her cape. Your first test is through this tunnel. Defeat the mountain and reclaim what is ours. From the depths of the tunnel, the mountain resisted her. You are beneath me. You are not worthy. I know my worth, Asada replied. Stronger than you have tried and failed. It is cold and dark and you are alone. Shouldn't you go home? I am never alone, Asada replied. Give up! Give up now! You cannot win! You are but a pebble, and a pebble cannot move the mountain! Surely you will lose! I have nothing to lose but my chains! She shouted, and she finally reached the top. the mountain surrendered the long-lost Emerald Cape. And soon, her heart began to sink as the earth beneath her feet turned to quicksand. about to give up hope, a wise tree stirred and woke. Seeing Asada in danger, the tree reached out to save her and pulled her safe and free. Thank you, Asada said. You are welcome, replied the wise tree. If I have, you have. Take this pouch of magic. You'll know 
when to use it. You carry my spirit in your heart always. Oh, how much further? I've been walking for such a long time. You must keep going now more than ever. Her feet were heavy and her heart weary. And still she marched, pushing through the pain and doubt. in and removed the thorn. Thank you. I've been carrying that with me for so long. Asada took the magic from the pouch and pressed it against her wound. I see you, Venus, and lifted her up. It was as if every light in her shone and Asada marched boldly into the garden of Sisterhood. An ancestor greeted Asada. Welcome, my child. You learned the greatest lesson. It takes strength to fight, true courage to heal and uplift your community. Sada turned to the next wave of warriors, saying, And with these gifts, my journey ends, and yours begins. Now, it's your turn to leave the sanctuary and find something worth passing on to those who will come after you. They will all be here when you come home.
in the 